This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. As someone who spent a lifetime in colleges and universities, I've been particularly interested in college and university architecture. When my office got the word that the 50th anniversary was coming up and that each division was going to be asked to sponsor a particular event, we realized that the history of architecture here at UCSD, the built environment, and the relationship between that environment and the natural topography of the Mesa, these were all things that made the campus distinctive. And we thought that they would be a good subject for public events, historical activity, scholarly work, and a general celebration about what made UCSD distinctive for its 50th anniversary. If anyone has spent time on an American college or university, you'll get the sense that there really are two models for university architecture. One of them is the church, the idea that buildings are supposed to look like sacred spaces. The other great model is the library, in which people enter and, in effect, worship at the Shrine of the Book. When I got to UCSD, I realized that UCSD architecturally was very unusual because there's really nothing here that looks like a church, and there's nothing that looks like a traditional library. When we enter a building, we're entering a very special kind of space that, in a sense, conditions what we're going to do in the space. How do we learn? How do we teach? How do we read? My excitement about UCSD is that each building uniquely recalibrates those relationships. The master plan at UCSD, I think, is unique in one particular feature. It utilizes philosophical principles rather than what I would call prescriptive principles that would guide the development for the campus. We have five guiding principles to the master plan. One would be connections. Connections would be the roads, the pathways, the pedestrian walks, those kinds of things about how we circulate around the campus. Another is academic corridors. Academic corridors is an important planning principle in the master plan. The idea is so that buildings that have similar academic endeavors can be placed adjacent to one another to enhance the collaboration that would take place. The neighborhoods are an opportunity to break down the campus into smaller, understandable physical elements. And they may be defined by um, areas where the landscaping is more similar in nature or might be in terms of building colors. There really is no social atmosphere like another university would have with a city or town nearby. And UCSD is in the process of building that university center and trying to create a hub of activity so that there is something that's happening on the campus after five and well into the evenings and on the weekends. I'm interested in the campus as a laboratory for urban planning and, and design. I think it's a fascinating kind of uh, endeavor that's going on. The part that interests me most is probably the core center because it is more urban uh, and it's just now beginning to get formed and so my dream project is to make more contributions to the kind of placemaking that happens there. The master plan focuses very much on the eucalyptus trees as being an organizing element for the campus and indeed when you look at a physical plan an actual graphic of the master plan, you'll see that green swath slicing through the campus from north to south, if you will. The buildings inhabit our landscape, and the landscape is the context and the glue and the fabric that holds the campus together. One of the centerpieces of UCSD by Design is a series of five lectures that we're hosting in concert with the Museum of Contemporary Art in La Jolla. And each of these lectures will feature a distinguished art historian, architectural historian, or architect. And the center that's in the picture uh, before you is actually a uh, remarkable high point, I would uh, say, in this development in that it reaches a possibly singular degree of density and yet each lecture, whether or not it specifically addresses the built environment on the UCSD campus, 
will speak most broadly to the interests of a community here in Southern California. So the goal of these lectures is not just to serve the university, but to serve the community, to bring people from outside the campus into a shared intellectual and cultural experience, and then, ideally, get them to visit and see the campus. The Campus Guide, to me, places uh, an exclamation point on the university's 50th birthday. What we wanted to do was give people an overview of the campus, the importance of 50 years of planning and architecture here, and some of the forces that shaped the campus. And the way we decided to lay out the book was in a group of neighborhood tours, 110 buildings organized by colleges with maps, and they're in the form of a neighborhood walking tour. One of the things that quickly became apparent is that the spaces between the buildings and the pedestrian spaces and the landscaping and the Stewart collection of public art, those are the things that really make the campus experience as much as the buildings. I'm very proud of the campus. I'm proud to work here and I'm, I'm very pleased that I was able to have the chance to write a book about the campus. The kind of unique qualities that make Southern California different from other places, sometimes buildings are in sync with that, that kind of quality and that's when they really, they really belong here. And as you tour through the campus, you can really see the difference. You'll see some buildings that look like they were dropped out of the sky from some other climate, some other place. Uh, even though they're very good buildings. And you'll see others that are just somehow hypersensitive to the uh, conditions and to the lifestyle that, that's here. My hope is that we'll see more of that kind of architecture on campus. And some of the recent buildings, I think, have been those kinds of buildings. We understand that UCSD is still a work in progress. Not simply in the fact that we're building new buildings all the time, but the fact that as a young campus, and as a growing campus, we always have to be conscious of the fact that once a building is up, doesn't mean that it's the end. That's actually the beginning. Unlike many of the great American campuses that look so obviously like a college campus, UCSD always looks like the future.